seems like no matter what fast food restaurant you go to these days, you find a mandarin type salad. So today we're going to do one so that you can do it at home and hopefully make it taste a little bit fresher. As I said, this is mandarin salad. First we're going to make the dressing. I have two tablespoons of a sesame oil just a regular sesame oil. It adds a lot of flavor, so I would try to use sesame oil as opposed to using a different one. I've also got two tablespoons of rice vinegar, and make sure that you get the variety that's unseasoned. Two tablespoons of sugar, and you could use a sugar substitute on that if you wanted to. Two tablespoons of chopped parsley, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. A Chinese five spice powder is a spice blend, which means it's like uh, chili powder or curry powder. It's a mix of different things and you could do your own, but it's a lot more convenient and actually less expensive to go ahead and buy it commercially. It um, costs around $4 to $5 a bottle if you get it commercially, but if you buy the individual spices, since it's five different things, which you probably don't have, it's star, anise, cinnamon, cloves, uh, fennel seed, and Szechuan peppercorns. So most of us don't have those things lying around. So making it yourself might give you a, a stronger flavor, but it's going to be a lot more expensive in the long run. And also I've got just a dash, a few drops of hot sauce. And we're just going to whisk those together until we get them blended well. And I'll come back and re-whisk them when we get it done because these are going to separate a little bit. I also want to make sure that you get the sugar completely dissolved in here as you do this. All right. The, the salad itself uh, consists of eight cups of mixed salad greens. And again, uh, romaine, something that's a little bit sturdier than a leaf lettuce is probably going to do you better uh, than a, a green leaf lettuce would. Although those will work, but if you're going to use them, you need to make sure that you're ready to eat the salad. It's not going to keep as long as it will as if it's got a sturdier lettuce leaf with it. So eight cups of those that you've washed and dried well. Uh, also with that, I've got three-fourths of a cup of dried cranberries one cup of thinly sliced celery, and I went ahead and cut it on a bias simply because it looks a little bit more oriental. And I did the same. I've got one to one large or two small green onions, again cut on the bias for the look there, and about uh, one can of mandarin oranges. This was one of the large cans, the 11 ounce cans, as opposed to the, the smaller ones that you often see uh, in the market. We're going to Again, just double check, make sure our, our dressing is mixed well together. Blend that over the top. Now, if you wanted to make this a full meal, you could easily do that by adding some grilled chicken to this or some smoked turkey. And then you end up with something that's getting real close to what they have at the fast food restaurants. And the last thing I'm going to do, the, the recipe itself that I found was a little bit higher in fat content than I wanted it to be. So I cut the amount of oil down about in half. It originally called for a fourth of a cup and uh, it also called for a half a cup of chopped pecans. Well, pecans are a very healthful nut. They're, they're very uh, flavorful as well as healthful, but I didn't want to have that much fat in this recipe. So instead of blending them in like the original recipe called for, I'm going to divide this. This is going to make four to six servings. Again, if you add a little chicken to that, that would actually be a full meal to that. Or you could actually use a, a little bit of uh, grilled beef to, to that as well. I'm just going to sprinkle the pecans over the top. And that's going to let you see them, let you know that they're there, let you enjoy the flavor of them a lot, uh, but not use as many uh, in the recipe itself. And if you want to really boost the flavor, then I'd probably re recommend that you toast the pecans before you put them in, and that will give it a lot, uh, uh, that uh, toasty flavor really adds to the recipe as well. Again, this is Mandarin Salad. You can do this instead of running to the fast food restaurant. For Oklahoma Gardening, this is Barbara Moore.